Hello, it's Gem Games here once again, and in this video we're going to create the main menu slash uh, start game screen. So yeah, let's get started. First, we actually I want to explain you how we will go to uh, make it work. So we will add a camera to the level, which will uh, we will first at the start we throw that camera, and it will be faced to the player, and we will have a HUD that or a widget that shows a button that will say play or something like that. When we press that, the com camera will move to the player camera and yeah, the level will start. So yeah, let's get started. First, what we want to do, we want to actually go to the G... Uh, what is happening here? What is this? Oh, from my other screen. Okay, so yeah, we uh, want to go to the blueprints. And we want to go to the GM Endless Runner. And here, what we want to do, we want to go to the Event Graph. And here at the Begin Play, we have all these things. What we want to do here now, we want to actually delete this sequence from here. Okay. And here on the Begin Play, we want to connect this. Like that. Let's move it a little bit closer to the begin play. Okay, and all these thing, things here at the bottom, we want to actually first create a custom event. Let's call this start uh, game, something like that. Okay, and we can actually delete this is valid from here now because we're not calling this on begin play. And uh, we want to cast to the third person character on the when we start the game like this. Okay. And after that, what we want to do is we want to create this uh, player heart like this. And after that, what we want to do is we want to set view target and context sensitive we want to make it false set view target with blend like this and let's connect it to here and the target will be get player controller like this player state like that okay and the new view target will be, let's get the player ref, and from here we want to get the camera ref, ref, like this. Okay, let's connect it to the new view target. And now let's make the blend time like two seconds, and this blend exp, let's make it like five. Okay, after that what we want to do, we want to get these increased speed and increased points, and move them here. And one more thing we actually want to do here is we want to create a new variable that will be called um, game started. Oh, we didn't write for some reason. So game started and it will be type boolean like that. And yeah, we actually want to call this, let's call this here at the beginning. So let's move everything a little bit further and let's set this uh, set game started to true like that. Let's compile, let's save and the target must have connection. And player state. Actually, I think this is incorrect. Let's delete this and let's get the get player controller. And I think it's Okay, it's this player. Get player controller from here. Okay, sorry. Sorry about that. I'm a little bit tired. So let's compile and save. And the next thing, what we want to do here is... We want to go to the third person map. And we want to go to, go to the HUD folder. And we want to create a new user interface widget blueprint. And user uh, widget. Let's call this main menu or something like that. Let's open it. Let's 
uh, add a canvas panel, like always. Okay. And let's set the fill screen to uh, this from here, from fill screen to custom. Width is 1280 and the height is 720, like that. Okay. Now, what we want to do, we want to wrap this uh, canvas panel with size box. Okay. And here on the side size box let's select it and we want to uh, make this width our override true and hide height override true and the width override should be 1280 also and height override 720 like that okay now we want to wrap this size box size box with a scale box uh, scale box like that let's select the scale box and here, what we want to do is... Actually, we don't have to change anything here. Okay, now what we want to do, let's compile, save, compile, save, and let's move this next to the other windows. Let's go back to the third person map. Let's open the uh, game over screen, for example. Let's select the restart button, and let's right click and copy, and let's go to the main menu, and let's paste it to the canvas panel. Okay, let's rename the button to play button, like that. Okay, and this text to play text, or something like that. Okay. Now, let's move this button to screen. Actually, we don't have to do that. Uh, we want to anchor it to the uh, bottom middle part and we want to set the position x to 0 and y to 0 and alignment 0.5 and 2.5 like that it's already there okay and now let's select the restart text and let's change it to play we will make we will make all this look a lot better later on but for now it will be enough so the next thing will be um yeah, we want to select the button and we want to scroll down and here on the events on clicked, we want to click that and we want to get a game mode and from here we want to cast to GM Endless Runner. Okay, and from there let's actually compile and from there as GM Endless Runner, we want to start game, like that. And after that, we want to remove from parent. Okay, let's compile, save, and we can actually close this, and also the game over screen. And now, what we want to do is here on the GM Endless Runner, we want to go to the begin play. And after we have spawned the tiles here, we want to create widget. And the widget will be the main menu widget. And from the return value, we want to add to viewport, like always, like that. Compile and save. Okay, so the next thing what we want to do is we want to go back to the third person map. And we want to select the player start. And we want to move the player start to the, I think, let's make the location 700. And the height, let's make it like 90. Uh, sorry, let's make it 93. Uh, okay. Yeah, 93. And the next thing is we want to actually add a I search for a camera, so camera actor, okay. And the camera actor, we want to set the location to 875. You can adjust this later if you want, but for me, these are good. And the Y to minus 300, 
and the set let's make it like 90 okay and the rotation will be 90 on the set nothing else nothing else like that so it's there the player is there so the next thing what we want to do is we want to open the level blueprint so from here and open level blueprint and then we want to call uh, at uh, begin play event begin play and from here we want to actually get the get player controller game play get player controller like this okay and from here we want to set view target with blend like that let's align this so let's select and Q and the new view target is actually let's compile let's move this next to the everything else let's open the purpose map we have to select the camera like this so you can see here that it's selected now you want to go to the level blueprint and you want to right click and now you should have this create a reference to camera actor if you cannot see this then you haven't selected the camera on the level okay now you want to move uh, connect this to the new view target like that okay so let's compile and save so let's actually try and see what happens uh, what what did i do wrong let's see okay so uh, 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 uh. Oh, I'm stupid. We will have to go to the... Let's go to the third person map. And then what we want to do is... We want to go to the blueprints and to the BB third person character. Let's open it. And to the event graph. And here on the event tick, we have this uh, add input vector and set lane location we can actually delete this from here this print string if you have this we only need these two let's move this a little bit further and let's add a branch so p and left click and now we want to get the game mode ref and we want to get the game started get game started let's connect it to there let's actually move this a little bit closer Okay, actually let's align this. Uh, let's connect the true to here. So if the, when the game is started, we want to do this. So let's try again. Actually, why it is not working? Oh, I'm so stupid. You want to go to the PP third person character. And here on the begin, event begin play, we want to delete this set camera view uh, with blend. Uh, set view target with blend. And this get player controller like that. Let's connect to the cast to GM and let's run like that. And now let's try again. Okay, as you can see, we have the camera here, and when we press play, the game will start. So yeah, let's actually try once more to see that everything actually it really works. And let's actually delete these power-ups from here quickly. So select the power up from here let's keep the control pressed and select all these coins and stuff like that and delete like that actually let's delete also that so yeah let's try again okay uh, now we have this screen here later on we will add all the other things here so we can change the character and stuff like that but yeah for now when we press play everything works let's actually try one more thing yeah. Oh, the uh, lighting <laughs> works here. Okay, let's actually fix it on the next episode. I'm too tired for this. So yeah, if you did like the video, please click the like button and subscribe for more. And yeah, hope you guys have a great day and see you on the next one. Bye.